Scorpio, hi. So this is going to be a reading for the month of October 2020. And I'll do the reading for you and then I'll close it off with a Oracle card. And these are general readings. So they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended at the end of the video. You can check it out in the description box below if you want. Now let's see Scorpio. Nice, nice progression you got going on. So uh, starting off the reading, you get uh, 10 of wands. Now this is a lot of hardship. However, the 10 is completion. So you might be coming out of it. Uh, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, starting off the reading, you get the three of wands crossed by the seven of pentacles. There's an energy of waiting that you're kind of working on kind of working on getting yourself out of this stagnant energy um if this is you this could be somebody you're dealing with are you okay come here you're good you're good you need assistance i think he's good um in your focus here the high priestess you're kind of working on um Getting back in touch with your intuition. Um, usually when people wait, when they find themselves in a waiting zone there, um, they use a lot of their mind. The mind is what's keeping you stuck. Because you have to think about all of these things. You can't really walk through that. You got to stand still to think about all the crap that the mind comes up with, right? That leaves no room for your intuition, which I feel like you're trying to get back in touch with um in the recent past the fool things were i feel like you're looking at the days where you just took chances because they felt good and now you may be over analyzing thing things overthinking things and it doesn't feel that good anymore this is an energy of somebody that um just goes in and does whatever they feel they need to do you know, um, your strength there, the Knight of Swords, you do have that capability of taking action. For some reason, you forgot about that aspect of yourself. For some reason, you got stuck in a place here. The immediate future, the Queen of Cups, this is you. This is you opening up your heart. Um, hmm. The energy that supports this reading, the Seven of Wands, this is a little bit of rejection, a little bit of, um, it could be you going against yourself at times, you know, and sometimes we're our own worst enemy. It could be that, where you feel like you need to open up to all of these things to get you out of the stagnant mode that you find yourself in. But at the same time, there's that procrastination, right? Like. Yeah, I know I have to do that. I'll do it on Monday. Starting Monday, I'm going to quit smoking or whatever the case, you know. Um, starting Monday. There's always that starting Monday phrase, right? For when we're going to do shit. Uh, the energy that surrounds you and you may not be aware of it. It's not an easy energy to sit in. And I agree. Um, you don't see it, but things are getting harder and harder. The more you sit, the harder it is to get moving. Um, you're hoping for a change. Okay, you can create that change, by the way. Uh, the potential outcome, the happiest card in the deck, the sun. Let's, um, let's clarify. Let me clarify this ten of wands. The Magician, the Four of Cups, and the Two of Pentacles. I kind of see you struggling, wanting, really, really wanting to get out of this uh, phase, right? Of Because it's not making you happy. You got the Four of Cups here. This is somebody that's not happy. It's they're, they're, You're just discontent. You're just bored all the time. You're just like, come on, something else. I need something else. You know, so you're trying to manifest your way out of this. To, to, again, how do I do it? Do I do it Monday? Do I do it Tuesday? When do I do it? Do it now. 
and this goes away, this goes away. And a lot of other cards here will go away. Um, let me see the Seven of Pentacles here. The Strength card, the Ten of Wands, the Seven of Pentacles again. <laughs> it, it's The same message is coming in over and over again. It's hard. I know it's hard. I know. I've been there. We've all been there. Um, but if you say that enough times to yourself, how are you going to change that? How are you going to get yourself out of that? You can't keep finding that excuse. It's hard. Yes, it is. I agree. Um, that doesn't mean something is going to change just because you say it a hundred times, you know? Because it's coming in as very repetitive, as very... This is my perfect excuse. It's so hard to do this that I'm just not going to do it. Okay. But I don't feel like it feels good to you. With two tens of wands, with one nine of wands, that's a lot of hardship. That's a lot of bleh, you know? Let me clarify the High Priestess in your focus. These are some interesting aspects that came out for you. The Death card, which is your energy. The Queen of Cups, which is presenting itself in the immediate future. And the Devil. You might be dealing with a Capricorn here or another Scorpio. Um, what is this? Could be something that you you mistake for love or you mistook for love for quite some time. Could be an obsession. Could be something addictive here at stake. But I feel like it presented itself in the form of love. And you kind of went with that until you figured out that, uh, no, it's not that. This is not healthy. Whatever this is, it's not love. It's not healthy. It's ending. And that only can happen here if you do follow your intuition, you know? Uh, let's go to this full from the past. Queen of Wands, Page of Wands, King of Pentacles. Yeah, you did take a chance towards somebody. It felt very passionate. It felt very stable, very... It had a sense of foreverness in it, of this is my person for life kind of thing. And I feel like you did take a chance with it. Um, I don't know what happened there, but in the past, it did feel good. And that's all I can say about that. Um... Let me see this uh, Queen of Cups here in the immediate future. The Judgment card, the High Priestess and the Justice. So remember what you're focusing on here? This love, the situation that you thought was love, but it turns out to be something else, at least currently. Maybe in the past it was, maybe it tra transformed into something else. Um, you're kind of focusing on ending this because you're listening to your intuition. In the immediate future, same kind of mix of cards come in with the decision factor. Like, okay, I need to make a decision here. What I'm going to do about this. So this is you thinking about it. This is you deciding upon it. Let me clarify the Seven of Wands. Of course, roles can be reversed. This could apply to another person you're connected to. Uh, I feel like this is you, though. Let's clarify the Seven of Wands. It's Felix time. He's in the mood. Uh, the Two of Wands, the Eight of Cups, and the Queen of Swords. Hmm. Kind of see this as the other person turning their back here. It's either them having their back already turned to the situation or you starting to slowly but surely detach from the situation. Um, whoever is, whoever has their back turned here, the other person is not agreeing with that. They're not really, they're like, uh, no, I do not like this fact. 
Um, let me clarify the Nine of Wands and the hidden energies. Six of Wands, Nine of Wands again, and the Ten of Cups. There is a sense of overcoming the hardship of this and starting to possibly look at things in a more positive manner or trying to, trying to hang on to the love aspect instead of the, oh my God, it's hard aspect here. You know, this keeps wanting to pop up. But then again, so do these energies of victory, success, overcoming this. And... Um, looking at the the love the happiness if there is any to look at you you know what i mean let me clarify the judgment card the uh six of cups the moon and the knight of swords you are going to decide to take some action. Now, it depends on each of you what this action is going to be. Either towards this connection, either away from it. From what I can see in the cards, it's more away from it. But you're very secretive about it. Um, Yeah, kind of like leaving in the night kind of deal. This is how it shows up. Not telling anybody, not telling any soul, any words, nothing. Just disappearing in the night, pretty much, you know? That's how it comes in, at least. Let me clarify the sun for the potential outcome. Yeah. The Eight of Pentacles, the Two of Cups, and the world. Yeah, I feel like the decision is more inclined towards not wanting to put in any kind of effort to save this connection with somebody here. Uh, this effort to put in the work to bring the two of you together is coming to an end, at least on your part. Um, I feel like it was, at some point, something that made you happy, just the idea of it, to have this. Not anymore. The reading is kind of gradually going towards a decision that's being made on your part to possibly detach yourself from a situation. And again, it does come in as the other person kind of being on the same page, kind of. But at the same time, there's resistance on both parts to do this. Which is, I mean, it's normal. But let's see what the universe has. Four of Wands, Two of Wands, Eight of Cups. Yeah. Yeah, it's been a long time coming here. This connection, somebody was kind of stagnating in it, being there just, just because. Um, finally, the emotional detachment is happening here. Now, when the physical detachment is happening, that, I don't know. That's really up to each and every one of you. Uh, let's close it off with a Monology Oracle card for you. Let's see what the moon has for you. And you get full moon in Aries. A fiery climax approaches. Could be in regards to this decision you're making, which does seem like it's life-changing, like it's fiery, um, if you want, you know. So, yeah, that's what I have for you, Scorpio. Hope this helped, and I'll see you next time.